Pedro, welcome to Horsehead Bookends for another Gaming Friday. For today, we are going to do an unboxing of a game I just got in from Chip Theory Games. Now, if you do not know Chip Theory Games, they've made games such as Too Many Bones, and I've done an unboxing of their latest Splice and Dice expansion, which I'll post right there. They've also done games like... Cloud Spire, which I've also done an unboxing and a playthrough, and I'll post one of the videos there as well. But this is one of their earlier games. Now, my understanding is that they might not be making this anymore, and I had two of the games, but I did not have this one, so I decided to order it. Hoplomachus, Rise of Rome. The box is extremely large, as you can see, it takes up most of the screen. Hoplomachus is a one to two player hex based strategy game where you uh, control one ancient city. And your job is to build your team and either attack your opponent and try to win or you can attack a AI opponent all through die rolls which tell you what you can do and how you can move and what actions you can perform. Now I say it's a one to two player game. However, there are two other Hoplomachus games out there. The first one was Hoplomachus The Lost Cities, which had three different uh, cities in there that you can use. So you can play one versus three, or one versus two, or three versus, or two versus the computer, AI opponent. Um, with the Rise of Rome, it actually allows up to four people to play if you combine it with both sets. And there's also Hoplomachus Origins, which is uh, the same style game, but the boards are actually much smaller. So what we're going to do, we're going to take this over to the table, open up, check out what's inside. Okay, so here's Hoplomachus Rise of Rome. Sorry about the big glare. This is the cellophane on the box, but let's open it up and see what's inside. Okay, so here we have all of the cards that explain everything for you. They're nice plastic. Your instructions on how to play. You have your game board map, and this is ha does have a stitch edging, which are part of second edition, which is nice. I do not think my other Hoplomachus maps have stitching on the edges, but oh well. And what's really nice, they tell you exactly player phases, titan phases, right on the map itself. You have your little pouch, two pouches, glass markers. These are your your hip point chips, your health chips. I think I have the premium ones in another version. You have two spacers for extra maps. And right here you have all of your chips. You have Rome and Pompeii is orange and the white. I haven't opened this up, but let's do that now. And there are some of the, the chips, Pompeii, and there are your, let's see if that'll focus in. All right. And these are nice. I think they're 11 gram chips. They're really nice. And you also have your bag of dice right there. So that's really it. Let's, uh... Let's put it back in the box and go and talk about it. Okay, so that was Hoplomachus Rise of Rome by Chip Theory Games. Now, I've talked about this in my other unboxings and reviews for Chip Theory Games. If you haven't played a, a game put out by this company. The games are a bit expensive. However, when you see the quality of the components, you know exactly where your money is going. The neoprene mats are gorgeous. 
the uh, 11 gram chips are are spectacular they're great and it just gives you such a good tactile feel for for gaming and I really um, I really enjoy everything that they make now as you can see there's a lot of extra space in rise of Rome I am going to try to see if I can combine rise of Rome and the lost cities into one box I, I think I have enough to keep everything in one box anyways I can't wait to get this to the table. Hopefully uh, this weekend I will get a chance to sit down and play it and uh, see see how it, it stacks up. I'm sure it's going to play exactly the same, but there might just be a little differences in the in your units for your for your armies for the different the two factions in this one. So if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please don't forget to click on subscribe and ring the notification bell. You get notified anytime I upload a new video. Any questions or comments, feel free to post them below and I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. If there's something you'd like to see at the game and I haven't showed you, let me know and I will try to do it in the future. Otherwise, talk to you later.